Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make a proper hobo shower using some simple and found items. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're going to need just a few simple items. First of all, just a two liter bottle with a good cap on it. This is a 42 gallon contractor, three mil garbage trash bag a smooth stone or pebble of some sort, a piece of wire, this is from a hanger, and then you're going to need about 24 to 36 inches of some sort of cordage. This is just number 18 bank line. The first thing we want to do is we want to cut off this part of the bottle. So this is going to be right here about where this starts to curve in. So there's a line here you can follow. And you want to try to get this as smooth as possible and just kind of take your time. Don't cut yourself. All right, just like that. And this is what we're looking for. Removing the cap, we take a lighter and the end of this wire and you go ahead and heat it up. This might take you a little while. You can also do this in your campfire of course, you would want to wear a pair of gloves or something because this wire is going to get really hot if you put it near any large flame. Once that's sufficiently heated, right down here in the bottom, you want to go ahead and put a hole right there. You want it to be right above the very bottom where this plastic liner seal is. If you can see that, it's real close. You don't want it up high. You want it down below, preferably below the last line of threads, right in there. And you want to do this all the way around at equal intervals. So when you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. These don't have to be perfect. But this is very important. It's important that you keep it just above the bottom, just like this. Next, we open up the large garbage bag. Make sure that it's all the way open and then choose one of the bottom corners. Using the knife we cut a very small piece of the corner off. Very very small. It's just a small opening. Maybe not even as big as just the tip of your finger. The next step is we take the end of the bottle that we cut off and we put it inside of the bag all the way down to the corner that we cut off. And you want to very carefully stretch this right over the top trying to keep as much tension on it and trying to not tear it all the way down until it goes over top of this lip just like this. And that's what it should look like when you get it done. Right there. The next step is we take our hank of cordage and we want to pull off oh maybe 12 to 16 inches or so of our cordage. So we have a pretty decent length of line. Then you want to tie a slip knot like this, overhand stop knot to keep it from slipping free, and leave a long tag end down here so we have something to tie off to. Then we put the slip knot around the nozzle, and pull it tight, get it as tight as you can. And now this step is really important. You want to go around this plastic as tightly as you can. Put a lot of tension and pressure on it. This is going to be a seal, so it must not leak. Or if it does leak, not more than a couple of drops. All right, when you get that around to where it's pretty decent, and you've got some good tag ends, and you feel like that's tight, go ahead and just tie this off using a standard square knot or granny knot, it doesn't matter, but 
it's very important that you get this really tight. I'm going to emphasize that again. And I'll go ahead and put three on there. So that will make sure and hold it good. And then I'm going to cut these two tag ends off. Making sure, of course, that I don't puncture the bag. And that's what we have. Next, we install the cap. Making sure that it fits good. Now don't tighten this too tight. Just snug it down a little bit. Okay? There we go. Next, you want to take your pebble or smooth stone and we want to come to the opposite corner. So we've got our shower head in this side and we want to come to the opposite corner and put the pebble in this side. Just like this, so that we have a nice pebble in that corner. Twist it just a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing with another short piece of cordage. Again, we're going to put in a slip knot, go around that, pull that down tight, tie it off the stop knot. And then in this other end, we're going to just make a simple loop. And then we're just going to tie a knot in it, just like this, so that we have a nice loop in this end and attached to that rock, just like so. Now we want to fill it with water, and I'll show you how to hang it up. All right, kind of finish filling this up here. Now you don't want to overfill it. You can put a lot more in this bag than you can lift. So two or three gallons is sufficient. Now this particular garbage bag has these ear flaps to tie and that's really convenient. So you wanna just go ahead and put a simple knot just like this. It's an overhand granny knot. Make sure that's good and tight. And this is gonna be our hook. We're gonna hang it on. After you get the bag filled, go ahead and set up a large tripod and a large fork stick that's probably about, oh, 12 feet long. We're gonna take part of these forks and we're going to put the knot. We're gonna take and we're gonna put this knot right over top, just like this, just like so. And then, you remember, the other end of the bag that had our pebble in it, that is going to hang over this as well with the loop. That will hold the other corner up so that all the water drains into the other corner. Looks something like this. And we put it up on the tripod. Okay, so that's how you set it up. You gotta lift it up high and you gotta work it around a little bit. Of course, if you can find a branch to throw a cord over, and adjust it that way, that's even easier. But the main thing is that you want to make sure that the nozzle is at least above your head. That's very important. I'll give you another look from the side so you can see what it looks like. And that's what it looks like from the side. Just a simple tripod. Nothing is weighted down at the bottom. It's just all held in place by friction. The long Y stick does have a point at the end, which helps it to stay in the ground. What's so great about this design is that it's just stupidly simple. Because of where the holes are located, when you screw it tight, it shuts off the water. But all you do is simply take this out a couple of turns, and we have a really nice shower. And no, I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you. This is about as close as we're gonna get. But of course you could build a surround around this, and you could make a nice shower enclosure. It's really simple, it's really easy to make, and I hope that you enjoy this hobo shower. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our facility in Southern Ohio. 
And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.